Well, the reason why I must make it clear, the reason why we decided to take Suomoto cognizance, we are conscious of the fact that the High Court was entertaining a, a petition which was filed by uh, the petitioners who are here before us, is because this is really now not just a matter relating to a particular murder which takes place in a hospital in Kolkata, which is horrific in the nature of the crime, but it raises systemic issues in regard to the safety of uh, doctors. Well, two more incidents, one in Bombay and yes. one in Ahmedabad. That, 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 that's the Chief Justice, please. Yes. Uh, so it deals with the systemic issue of safety of doctors across the uh, across India. Yes. There are a couple of things, Mr. Sibyl, before we deal with the broader aspects of safety and what we propose to, we'll, we'll tell you. In a I have something to assist on that, Malak. Uh, you tell me. First, on measures of safety, we are deeply concerned about the fact that there is a virtual absence of safe conditions of work for young doctors across the country, particularly in public hospitals. As we know, these are all young interns. They are residents, senior residents, doctors, and most importantly, women doctors yes. who are subject to of, of, of graver dangers and vulnerable, yeah, vulnerable. Uh, by virtue of the nature of their uh, of Absolutely. because of gender. And working hours. Just and working hours. Uh, most of the young doctors have to put in somewhere 36, 36 hours. hours. Uh, we find that there are no uh, duty rooms available. No separate restrooms or duty rooms available for men and women doctors, for the other nursing staff, for the paramedical staff who are also uh, on duty. And therefore, we must uh, evolve a national consensus to ensure that there must be a standard national protocol yes. to ensure that safe conditions of work are provided. This is not a matter of providing protection either to women or protection to doctors in general. It's a matter of creating safe conditions of yes. work so that they Correct. ultimately what is equality under the constitution all about? If women cannot go to a place of work and be safe, then we are de denying them the basic conditions of equality. And therefore, we are entertaining this and I'll very shortly share the way we want to uh, proceed with this to ensure that ultimately, uh, it's not that every time that there is a rape or murder that the conscience of the nation is uh, awakened. Second. We have to do something right here and now to ensure that these conditions of safety are uh, maintained in terms of protocols which will not just be on paper, but protocols yes. which will be enforced across, uh, across, across India. Now, in so far as what happened in Kolkata is concerned, a couple of things from what we have, of course, first let me begin by saying that we are deeply concerned of the fact that the name of uh, the deceased who was assaulted and murdered, the name has been published all over the media. Photographs have been yes. published all over the media. Should video, video clips, obviously, either before or after the post-mortem have been published, right. uh, showing her body. Uh, you know, after she was subjected to it, extremely uh, concerning. We are, we, we, we are the first to recognize the right to free speech, but there are well-settled parameters. It is extremely painful. I agree entirely with you. Which have been laid down in now the uh, the, the, the new criminal the, the, the new criminal procedure court yeah. by judgments of our court in Nipun Saxena that you will not publish the names of the survivors of sexual assault yeah, in this case. The it's a criminal we have filed 50 it's FIR on that count. 50 FIR. And it was circulated, nobody should publish. Well, may I just inform your lordships, before the police reached, photos were taken and these were circulated. We didn't allow anything to happen. We cordoned off the area. Is this, way, is this the way we provide dignity and respect the privacy of uh, an individual who has lost her life as yes. a young doctor? Yes. But apart from that, uh, Mrs. Isabel, I'm happy that you are here for the state of uh, West Bengal. A couple of uh, important, why couple, quite a few uh, aspects of the, of the sure. way the matter proceeded. It appears that the crime was detected in the early hours of the morning. Yes, yes. No, indeed, indeed. After the crime was detected in the early hours of the morning, the principal of the hospital tries to pass this off as a suicide. Not true, not true, not true. Not true. Her, parents are not, her parents are not allowed to see yes, the body. The body yes. 
No, Malak, this is. I'm sorry. Anyway, Malak, this is the impression. Our investigation. We have to. We have to place the facts before your lordships. We have investigated that. This is not correct. Until late night, we find that no FIR, no FIR was. That's also not correct. Not correct. What time was the FIR registered? Mullahs, in fact, we did what is called a, what we call call a UD case, Mullahs. UD case. Unnatural death case registered. Yes, unnatural death case registered. But immediately. That's right. That's an FIR, Mullahs. That's an FIR. What's the board discovered? UD case was FIR registered formally in the police. Mullahs, inquest was done and then FIR registered immediately and the investigation started. What it should have been done? The FIR registered. Alert okay. 12, Mullahs. 12 30. Does the FIR say that this is a case of a murder? No. Yes, yes. I no, no, it is. No, Mullahs. We, yes. yes. we have something. Unnatural death. death. Okay. Inquest second. shows One it's second. a case of murder, Mullahs. Inquest shows it's a case done. of murder. Inquest, inquest is done. The uh, the post mortem is the autopsy is conducted. Yes. yes. Now until the night, no FIR indicating that this is a clear case of a murder has been made out. It has, mother. I'm sorry. I'll place those facts before you. It has been, mother. Lord, may I suggest from Lord, unnatural may I suggest? death, he registered the case Lord, for murder. Okay. We caught the victim. He's a civic worker, mother. It's an individual. Act. I show all that to your lordship. And that's the first aspect. Yes. What was the principal doing? Why did he not one? Why was this kind of inaction on the part first an attempt to pass this off as a suicide not instead correct. of a murder? I'm sorry, mother. That's not correct. Not recording. Not registering an FIR. Till late in the evening. Yeah, Third, sure. the body itself is handed over to the parents sometime in the evening for cremation. Fourth, and that's a matter of very serious concern. On the next day, the doctors, the doctors, because they were all doctors working with her, the doctors are on protest. A group of persons, a mob assembles at the hospital. The hospital is invaded. And the critical facilities are damaged in the morning or whenever the, the mob enters. What was the police doing? Yes. yes. Not Malas, we have videos for all. Malas, let me first of all state. Surely, Mr. Sipan, the police, Malas, 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 a, a very serious offense has Malas. taken place. The crime scene is within the precincts of the hospital. Now, that is the first thing that the police have to do, namely to protect the crime scene. What are they doing? Well, that's a, they allow, that's allow vandals to enter the hospital? Yes. And, uh, it's and impossible well, that 7,000 people uh, first can gather without, without the consent. Allow me. 7,000 people can never gather without no, no, no. knowledge or but consent of the police. This is not an adversarial litigation. It's not. Therefore, let us not be in denial mode. One girl has lost life by not only you know, the sexual pervert, he's an animal. After the principal resigns from this medical college, he sent to another office. He is appointed as a principal of another college. Another immediately, yes, immediately. He doesn't resign. But anyway, be that be that, that as well. But let me first conduct. At the least, his conduct is under scrutiny, and he is appointed as a principal somewhere else. This is all we have a note on all this missing. It's not separate. It's not separate. But each other, there is a report on the reality. Just show it to you. Let the file report not. But we'll just show it to you. A couple of things which you would like to do. Well, let's make it very clear. We would want the the investigation has been handed over to the Bureau of Investigation. Yes, done. Yes. We want CBI to file a status report before this court on Thursday. Correct. We will take up the case on Thursday. We yes. want CBI to apprise us on the status of the investigation. Correct. The investigation obviously must be at a very sensitive stage so that it's something which would be submitted to the court. So the, for court's for consumption, consumption, not for the case guide. Public it's case. really an investigation update yes, state yes. report which will be given to us on Thursday. We will uh, consider the status report on Thursday morning and see what Fair where enough. the investigation is uh, is proceeding. Today, what we intend to do is that today we intend to pass an order. Uh, what we have done is, and three of us, that's why we were, in, uh, we were in conversation with each other. We have discussed the pros and cons. We are setting up under the authority of this court a national task force. The national task force will consist of a diverse segment of doctors from different parts of the country. We want them to make us recommendations in regard to the modalities to be followed across India, we are not only talking of the Adhikar Medical College and Hospital, but modalities to be followed all over the country 
for ensuring safety at the workplace first and foremost for which our young doctors our middle level the middle level doctors the senior doctors are all uh, today on Absolutely. process and on strike at the same time we would now that we are taking charge of these proceedings we are appointing a national task force it's our earnest request to doctors all over the country who have struck work there are institutions where i know appointments are taken 2 years in advance for instance the all india institute of medical sciences appointments are taken 2 years in advance if patients lose their slot they go back by another 2 years sure. so we would really earnestly appeal to all the doctors that we are here to ensure that you know their safety and protection is a matter of the highest national concern and therefore this is something which we would uh, earnestly earnestly appeal to all the young doctors that this is something please trust us that's why we have not left it to just the high court the high court of course consists of very seasoned uh, judges the chief justice was monitoring the investigation by the cbi but we felt that this is now not a matter of a particular uh, offense however serious and horrendous the offense is but something which affects the institution of healthcare pan india therefore the need for the supreme court must be welcome this i think this must be done mulas all of us must be very positive <laughs> but, but mulas my i have only one request mulas i have only one request yeah, sorry but i sorry. i need one or five minutes on this one only uh, that's what i said yes who is the first informant we were talking about the first information yes, yes. who is that first mm. informant mm. can you name us please name him Who is the first in charge to just, launch the affair? The one I just find out, Mulaj. And we would also like to know the time of the registration of the affair. The father of the victim. Wait a minute, please. Wait, please, don't, interfere. Yeah. don't interfere. Don't interfere. The please. first UD case was done by the police on its own. So that is not an affair. What is Section One Seventy Four of the Old CRPC today? Can anyone assist us, please? Yes. What's it? So that's just a report. Yes, Mr. To start the investigation. Then who launched the affair? One eighty three over. One eighty three. First, the father of the deceased. Yes. Then and then the vice principal of the hospital. First, the father of the deceased and vice principal of the hospital. So there cannot be two affairs. Ah. No, no, no. But both who? complaints were sent to us. No. Both complaints sent to us. Just tell us. Tell us. Whose complaint is treated as father, 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 father of the deceased? This is uh, registered at what time? Yeah, that's well. Eleven forty-five p.m. Eleven forty-five p.m. Now next what? day, next day. Yes, yes. The yes. night. The night. The night. In the night. In the night. Next in the night. In the night. In the night. In the night. When is the when is the body? When one second. When is the body? When is the body handed over to the parents for cremation? Well, let's kindly have a this note that I've given. What time is the body handed over to the parents for cremation? One second. Around three thirty. Thirty ten. Or therefore, therefore, one thing is very clear: the body is handed over to the parents for cremation at eight thirty p.m. The the FIR is registered at eleven forty five p.m. Three hours and fifteen minutes after the body is handed over to the parents for cremation, Malas, they refuse to file. Malas, this is the problem. We handed it over. They filed the FIR. They made the complaint at eleven forty-five. They say we are in shock. Please do whatever you want to do. They wanted a post mortem. We did the post mortem. All is videographed. Everything is videographed. The autopsy and the post mortem take place between one forty-five to four p.m. Now between one forty-five and four p.m. Yes. The autopsy takes place, followed by the. Why not the autopsy took place at six o'clock, not at? Fair enough. That's six. all right. We take it as one between one and four o'clock. It doesn't take place in one minute. It's a. It takes so. It takes. That was when video. One second. Don't keep on interrupting. They wanted so a the, board. We, we constituted a board. We are proceeding on the basis of Mr. Sibyl's hypothesis that the autopsy and the post mortem take place between one and four forty-five in the afternoon. Now, not sure there is. is Yeah, no, the autopsy would reveal that this is a case where a where a doctor has been murdered, where she has been murdered. Yeah. The FIR is registered at eleven forty-five in the night, Mr. Yeah. Sibyl. Yeah. And who was expected to register? Yeah. Nobody in the hospital registers the FIR. No. The father yeah. registers the. What was the principal or the vice principal? What were the authorities at the hospital doing? 
councillors. They wanted a board. We constituted a no, board. No. They wanted a magistrate. We got the magistrate. You don't need to realize time that for registration of FIR. You don't need a medical board yeah, for registration of FIR. At the, moment, at, the, at the moment, Millers, what are we considering? We are considering, Millers, two or three things, as your Lordship has put to me. Not done. How did these photographs reach? The social media. That's no, no. That, that, that's I'll, leave, I'll mention all this. All the, how did these photographs reach the media? We have nothing to do with no, it. Let us not trivialize everything. Alert. People there took photographs, Let came in, took photographs, and sent it. Number two, two Malad. Number two, immediately, Malad. Immediately, an unnatural death case, case Malad, was started, and an investigation was started. Your lawyers may be right, Malad. Why did it happen? But whatever the parents were doing, we were agreeing with that. We set up a board. We asked the magistrate, to come, a, treat, a judicial magistrate, to be present. Everything was videographed. Everything was called. Mr. Sibran, it is the obligation was made of the authorities of the hospital. Yes. The parents are not present in the hospital when the murder takes place. Yes. It's the obligation of the authorities of the hospital to register an FIR the no, moment they realize. 45 it was done. 245 done. The no, letter was sent. 11.45 in the No, no. 245 letter was sent. Uh, since then, superintendent sent a letter of, of, at 2.45, Malas. It not, it is not 11.30, at 2.45 itself, it, that we will set out all this, Malaj, it's better we set it. What we, uh, well, let, Mr. Mr. Lord Chief, may give me five minutes, Malaj, yes. to further, Malaj, to assist your Lord Chief. Malaj, first of all, Lord, let us not trivialize on this side, Malaj, we are dealing with one incident, but your Lordships are rightly looking at a larger picture. But we are dealing with, Malaj, a young doctor, uh, not only raped, Sex by a sexual pervert or perverts, but who was an animal like instinct, who had an animal like instinct, the way my lord, the body what was handled. Thereafter, my lord, I don't wish my lord to make this a political issue. I would request the state also not to be in a denial mode. Three hours of the patient, parents waiting, my lord, is something we can experience if we put ourselves in that position. Now, my lord, so far as the safety is concerned. Lord, one thing I must bring to your Lordship's notice. Lord, the doctors are genuinely, my Lord, have a grievance. They are, my Lord, they, they've lost their one of their colleagues, my Lord, globally. But, Lord, out of, my Lord, all states, 23 states have legislations dealing with, my Lord, what is called for, my Lord, Kerala, my Lord, uh, so and so medical, Medicare service persons and medical service institutions prevention of violence and damage or loss to the property act there are my lord I, i'll give my lord the list of acts my lord uh, this also the national task force my lord can uh, uh, go, uh, the punishment which is provided under it's the a cognizable my lord and uh, three years three years, three years. Yeah, yes my lord it's saying uh, cognizable non bailable and punishment is three years my lord this is first i'll my lord place it the national task force my lord which our lordships contemplate mm -hmm. can my lord go into this can even make suggestions and it should be welcome, my lord. My lord <laughs> second thing, my lord, which is worrying us is this. My lord, even in a well-organized function, if we want the presence of 500 people in an auditorium, we all know we have to make efforts. 7,000 people at the middle of the night armed with lathis and hockeys, my lord, can never be without the knowledge, if not consent, of the police force. It's complete failure of law and order, my lord, in the entire state. What time did the vandalization of the hospital take place? Lord, midnight. Midnight. It, it's at midnight, my lord. I thought my learned people. friend, he doesn't want to politicize the matter, my lord. Why is he saying all this? Now, now. Let's, now let's, why this is, my lord, uh, important. We should be called upon. We'll tell you what happened. Mr. Solicitor, what we'll do is that we'll... One, one more yeah, aspect. One, one more aspect. Uh, Lord, uh, and, and my Lord, again, my learned friend may feel that this is, my Lord, but this is directly related to the issue in question. Lord, the West Bengal has an in-charge DIG. In charge? Lord, in charge DIG, Director General of Police, uh, who is already being charged and being con my Lord, considered by your Lordships for having fabricated or otherwise dealt with the evidence in Sharda's scam case. Lord, well, your Lord, Calcutta police doesn't come under DGP. Mr. Calcutta police doesn't come under DGP. Why are you saying all this? What this has to do with the Director General of Police, the police is, not is an in charge DGP. Not let someone else be well, the This is what is happening. Let but them choose. But well, not the man who is already accused This is the, the kind of misinformation we are having, Malad. This is, and this is nothing to do with this. Is a, to do. Uh, only a minute.